And we're now inside one minute, 55 seconds and counting. Forty five seconds. Forty. Stable at step three. That valve's locked. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Steps check. Go Atlas. Centaur. Twenty. Fifteen. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Atlas engine ignition, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the second OTV mission for the United States Air Force. Pump speeds are good. Injector pressures are within parameters. You're hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in for mission progress. Picture program has begun. Vehicle response looks good. Tank pressures are stable. Plus battery voltages are good. Phase of flight, pitch program is complete. Booster PU has gone to close control. The uh, engine response looks as expected for the set mixed ratio. Current altitude is three and a half miles. Downrange distance, three tenths of a mile, traveling at 1186 miles per hour. And boosters throttle back right on schedule. Engine response looks good. Pump speeds are as expected for the set power level. Can find the zero angle attack. I'm sorry, uh, alpha bias stern phase of flight. Stern response looks good. Coming up on closed loop stern. And closed loop stern has been enabled. Some small body rates, but continue to control right down the middle. And we have the RCS pyro valve firing. Systems pressurizing the flight levels. We have also begun to throttle back to two and a half Gs in preparation for payload train jettison. Current altitude is 47 miles, downrange distance 46 miles, velocity is 4,048. Coming up on payload for jettison shortly. And we have payload for jettison right on time.
This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus five minutes and one second into the flight. And we've just heard Marty Malinowski report the successful execution of events comprising the early part of this evening's mission. All systems continuing to operate uh, nominally. The vehicle performing as expected. Um, Atlas vehicle uh, performed as planned. Payload fairing, jettison, and BECO events and main engine start number one. The first burn of the Centaur upper stage uh, each occurring uh, as expected. Our next event will be the Centaur main engine cutoff, which will occur at just over 17 minutes uh, elapsed time into the flight, which is about 12 minutes from now. So uh, while we have an extended period during this first Centaur burn, we'll uh, pause and then resume commentary in about 10 minutes. So again, uh, the flight uh, progressing as planned, liftoff occurring as scheduled at the top of the second window at 5.46 p.m. Eastern Time, and the vehicle continuing downrange uh, right now, the vehicle is at an altitude of uh, 159 Adjust security miles, roadblocks for padding. and distance downrange is 398 miles, uh, downrange from Cape Canaveral, traveling at a velocity of 9,839 9, miles per hour. So uh, uh, the mission continuing as planned. We'll uh, pause for a short while and return at the end of this Centaur first burn um, for the main engine cutoff number one event in about 10 minutes. This is Atlas Mission Control.
This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 15 minutes, 4 seconds uh, into the flight. Launch of the Atlas V OTV-2 mission for the United States Air Force occurred at 5.46 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, the uh, countdown is relatively nominal. The mission is uh, currently continuing uh, as expected. The uh, vehicle is in the Centaur first burn. Centaur upper stage uh, first burn will continue for the next couple of minutes. The vehicle right now is at an altitude of 194 nautical miles and 2,138 uh, miles downrange from Cape Canaveral, traveling at a velocity of 15,495 miles per hour. Again, our next event is main engine cutoff, or MECO-1, and it's scheduled to occur in um, under two minutes. So we'll go back to Marty Malinowski and listen in for the uh, continuation of the mission and uh, MECO-1 event coming up very shortly. So that event has occurred as expected. At the request of our customer, we'll now conclude live coverage of the OTV2 mission. I'd like to thank Marty Malinowski for his play-by-play -play of key launch and mission events. Uh, for more mi uh, mission information about this launch and the Atlas V vehicle, uh, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. And this now concludes our live coverage of the Atlas V OTV2 launch. We'll leave you now with one final look at liftoff. I'm Don Spencer. Thank you for joining us, and have a great evening. Five, four, three. Atlas engine ignition, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance.